You know what, the Dreamcatcher Fund celebrates and it honors people who are working hard and doing things out there in the Indigenous world. And I think that's what our people want and they want to see more celebration of success. So that's why I think that these awards are growing and growing and growing. You kind of realize, man, there's a lot of Indians out there that are successful, you know? But it's not just, you know, movies and entertainment. It's, it's doctors and athletes and uh, up-and-comers. Yeah, this is my first year here and I'm already so overwhelmed. It's really quite the event. Um, I've already met so many of, you know, my heroes, people that I look up to. I get to hang out with them and celebrate a really great cause. Congrats to 14 years of great events, I tell you. I think that uh, this event keeps getting better and better simply because of the participants that come to celebrate, actually, as well as raise some funds for a very worthwhile cause. Congratulations, Dream Catcher, on 14 years. It's always fun when hockey guys get together. We're gonna sit down, autographs, and a little meet and greet. If anybody wants my autograph, they're gonna have my autograph. It's only seven letters, it's Brad May, it's easy. Yeah, Rick, Rick Five said he wanted to fight me later. I don't know what that was all about. Ricky, do not fight Rick Five. I think he might take me. Graham Green, went to him. He yeah. also wants to fight me later. Adam Beach, here he's pretty tough. Adam Beach. I'd, I'd fight Adam Beach. Why don't you? You don't want to fight anybody. Why are tonight? you fighting anybody? Emmanuel Lewis is here. Do not fight Emmanuel. No, he's Lewis. like a ninja. He is like a ninja. Dreamcatcher Foundation does uh, so many projects uh, for the indigenous people of Canada, from uh, athletics to uh, educational projects, really supporting the local community. Thank you so much for this opportunity to be honored for the work that I do on a daily basis. Thank you. Yeah, just thank, you. thank you so much. A big nail goa. This is a real honor. We're so happy to be here. You know, we love you guys and we love yeah. what you do and what you do is so important. Um, I feel truly honored and blessed to be able to be here tonight and to receive this award. You know, it's an amazing experience and thank you. Thank you for an amazing night. Thank you to, to the Dreamcatcher Gala for the award for my father. This is uh, monumental for our family, and thank you for acknowledging my father and his work and my uncle's work. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Where are you going to place it when you get home? No, I'll probably put it. I have a I have a piano at my house that's uh, painted uh, uh, Haudenosaunee purple, so he'll probably go right on top of it. It'll fit right in. I'm going to put mine like right in my mantelpiece so that I can <laughs> stare at it and look at it every day. Yeah. <laughs> Makes music too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it keeps getting better each and every year because we have more people from our community that are succeeding every single day. The Six Nations community is flourishing right now, you know, so there's a lot more success stories and a lot more really great people coming out of the rest. This is the 14th year and, and I want to share why it's important. As Indigenous people throughout the Americas, we have to tell our own stories. I'd like to congratulate Dreamcatcher on 14 fantastic years. Keep going. Congratulations, Dreamcatcher. Congratulations, Dreamcatcher. Congratulations to the Dreamcatcher Charitable Foundation for 14 amazing years. On 14 amazing years. Congratulations to the Dreamcatcher Charitable Foundation. 14 years. Congratulations, quarter century. Cheers.